Hello everyone! In this episode, we will discuss the emergency generator. So, what is emergency generator on board the ship? So, let's go and we proceed to the emergency generator. This is our emergency generator on board the ship. So, ano ba ang gamit ng emergency generator? So, this is used in case of blackout. In case your three generator fail to start, this emergency generator will start and connect to the load. So, here we are in the emergency generator room. So, this is the panel board. This is the engine. So this is the engine of this emergency generator. Okay, the alternator or the this generate power to the bus bar here. So meaning to say, in case of blackout, in case your three generator, as I said, failed or there's a problem, this will automatically start. Our load will be limited. What are those? For example, the emergency light which only connected to this emergency generator we have this control console, bridge console and CO2 arm, fire main, emergency fire pump, battery, navigation light control panel emergency room lighting, Kunan, public address, gyro, van and two and we have also this uh, relay, elevator control Scrubber, steering gear, yeah. So mostly one of the steering is connected to the emergency generator in case of blackout. The emergency fire pump, of course, transformer, emergency transformer one and two, battery, the whistle. Okay. Uh, this is the steering gear room pan, and this is the steering gear, gear room number two. In case of emergency or blackout, we can still operate the people like boat we can launch the people like boat David Prio flashing it's connected to the generator wherein the generator is using diesel oil so we can still use in case of blackout and RP breathing air compressor so this is the BA compressor so for the charging the air of the BA so in this panel here if you can see the emergency sequence test, this is now in normal. Meaning to say, normal operation, in case of emergency, it will automatically start it and connect to load in normal. If you want to test the engine, just put here test. So it will automatically start. As long as it is connected, it is selected to the automatic, it will automatically start the engine. So in case, in case you want to test the emergency generator engine with ACB meaning air circuit breaker is closed with load you have just to select here this switch okay so warning the emergency diesel generator test selector switch will cause blackout of emergency switchboard when placed in the engine ACB position power will be interrupted for about 45 seconds while diesel start and circuit breaker closes select the switch in that engine position will not cause blackout so meaning to say engine with ACB closed the emergency generator will start automatically and connect to load in case the force state control or the inspector will ask to check your generator with load meaning to say you have to run the generator with load so this is how we test it the diesel tank so we supply fuel to the emergency generator and we have two ways of starting this emergency generator what are those? by battery operated so you just press it there it, it will this one start it will start automatically and the second one is by this one with this motor you have to turn this one Okay. Yeah, you have to turn this 
you have to engage until you can see the color green here so once it's up it is already there and you have to put it down okay first put the manual press the manual because now it is automatic put the manual and then press start it will automatically start and then if you want to stop put the zero okay and then after testing you must put to automatic here why we put to automatic so in case in case your uh, tree generator failed or there's a problem it will automatically start so what will happen to the generator why we require the emergency generator when one generator failed for whatever reason the next generator will start the standby one but if it's still some problem or let's say no fuel the next the third generator will start okay if in case you cannot start or some other problem without the generator or, the generator or some failure let's say example the fuel your problem with the fuel you have to stock up this uh, fuel pump so you receive the bad fuel so it will cause your fuel pump to stick it so it will uh, create the failure or the stock up of the fuel pump of the engine so the generator will stop so that is the cause of problem so in that case you must change over to diesel if in case you cannot change over so your generator will black out and this emergency generator will automatically connect to the load but with limited power as I mentioned earlier those are the machinery which are connected supplied by the emergency generator so here in emergency generator we have also this telephone communication it's a handset if you use this one and then you need to put to headset so meaning to say you need to use here okay the same thing you need to remove and turn it you select whichever you want to call it's it to the bridge put to number one and then turn it okay or two engine room so once the generator is restored this emergency generator will automatically stop and disconnect before we test the engine we have to check the some tank oil level of this emergency generator engine here you need to press manual and then you can start the generator press start this green button Okay, that's it. The generator is started. This is the complete view of this emergency generator while running. Here is the indication of frequency and voltage of this emergency generator while coming. And here is the procedure uh, for starting this emergency generator. So here is the second way of starting this emergency generator. Uh, is engaging the spring so the alarm sounded meaning to say that the emergency generator is engaged with spring so we can start it with a spring the spring starter is engaged
So this is the spring starter operating procedure. So that is what we are doing. And there is an instruction here posted. This is very important so that uh, in case you are uh, new to this engine, first read the instruction on how to start it by engaging the spring. This emergency generator is running without load, as indicated here, without kilowatt and amp here. It only shows the frequency and voltage. In this panel board, you can see the sure power connection in case we require. Here in the panel showing the lump oil pressure and temperature of this engine, which is very important. Here we are testing the level of this diesel tank, the alarm, low level alarm. There is a first fed instruction in this diesel oil tank that required consecutive operation in hours as per solar's regulation. The quick closing valve, fuel inlet to the engine tested. And every week, the electrician will test the condition of the battery.